Hello everyone, this is Ajit here from Interview Network and today we are going to discuss about why in SD-WAN boxes your control plane is separate. Yes, you heard correctly. SD-WAN boxes will not have the control plane in it itself. So how the routing will be take place, right? So let's start this tutorial about the same so you can understand the difference between the traditional box and the SD-WAN boxes and how things goes. Uh, you know how the packet will move from source to destination compared to traditional box that we have and the SD-WAN boxes that we have. So let's take an example if traditional box that we have is any single router or any single devices. Same box contain your data plane which talk about what packet you have, what prefix it's learned. And the same box will have the capability of control plane to decide how to send this packet that is learned in data plane. Okay, now let's take a, you know, so same box will contain your decision to route the packet from source to destination and same box containing your packet also now if you take an example if that separate box that you have if that box goes down anything be behind that you know is on if there's no resiliency it, it will lose the the packet you know prefix will be goes to black hole so but in st when environment this is quite separate and that's the way uh, they come with the concept called overlay and underlay and how things goes there but before I proceed further, I would just like to, you know, take another example where you will understand the normal setup in traditional network that we have. So let's take an example. We have five routers, R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5, where R1 is source and R3 is destination. So any prefix that is learned by R1, let's take an example, is 10.10.10.234. And if this prefix has to go to from R1 to R3, the one way to go is via R2. And then R2, R2 will send to R3, like R1, R2, R3. And another way to, to send the same packet is via R4. And then when R1, 4 will decide by R5, then R5 will send to R3, like this. So as you can see here, R1 will maintain its own routing table as its control plane. And on the basis of paste route, it you know to send this prefix learned by R1, it will, it will decide the best path to send this LAN prefix. Correct. So it can, might send on by R2 and then reach R3, or it might send by R4, R5, and then R3, depending upon the other parameter that we have in traditional routing. So let's take an example again here. If that box goes down, if there's no, there's no resiliency, though you can see here this prefix has a black black hole for this prefix. Correct. But in ST1 boxes, how things goes here? So as you can see in ST1 boxes, we have two component. One is underlay component and another is overlay component where underlay talk about your data plane and your overlay talk about your control plane so as you can see here all your edge devices as we know that all your edge devices are part of underlay and all your other devices or in terms of software as we see we know virtual which is v smart v bond all other they are the part of control planes but control decision is taken care by the v smart so if any edge device wants to send the you know packet to another edge devices, for example, in this diagram you can see a site one has a prefix <coughs> learnt, and this is a site ten. So this is site one and this is site ten. If site one has to send the packet to site ten, the packet will move from site one to V Smart, and then V Smart will check its own routing table and send the packet to the site ten, depending upon the best path it takes. So as you can see here, this here in SD WAN environment, your control plane is centralized and it's not maintained by the same box. That's the beauty and the smart technique being used by the SD WAN that helps to, uh, you know, even though if there's no resiliency, still uh, there will be no black hole for any prefix that's learned by the for same same segment. Correct. So that season, you know, in SD WAN boxes, we have a separate control plane compared to traditional boxes that we have. I hope guys this is very much clear to you and that's all from my side and do subscribe my channel so we can keep getting update on the same. Thank you so much.